the two members used in the construction of the aircraft fuelage are joined together using a 30 degree fist mouth weld determine the average normal and average shear stress on the plane of each weld. Assume each inclined plane supported a horizontal force of 400 pounds. Okay, so uh, this one says each plane is supported by a 400 pounds, which means that. So here is the uh, figure, and you have this inclined plane and this inclined plane. So the total force is 800 pounds. So each plane has a distributed force of 400 pounds. Okay, so that's what it means. All right, now. Uh, you have to find the normal stress and the shear stress. So, the first thing first, and is the most important thing in order to figure out those stresses, is to understand what you need to find, how you are going to consider the forces in this plane, in this inclined surfaces. Okay, so she to find the shear force, to find to find the shear stress, you need to find the shear force area to find the normal stress you need to find the normal normal force in the area so two things three things normal force shear force and the area so the area is is easy what is the normal force and shear force it's not hard but it's hard to visualize so you are given all of them but you need to figure them out okay so the shear force is the force perpendicular to the plane. So you have this plane as 30 degree angle. Okay, so you have this plane. So this is a part of this one. So if I cut this one and I cut this one and then take this, rotate it down here. So that is what it looks like. So I have a 400 pounds upward. So the C force is perpendicular, is parallel to the plane with a angle of 30 degrees. And the normal force is perpendicular to the plane Okay, so basically the shear force and the normal force is the x and y components of the 400 pounds force. Okay, so she normal stress is equal to normal force divided by area, and the normal force is 400 times side 30. Okay, so you have angle right here, and if you form this form a triangle, so you can visualize. So this is your V, this is your N, and this force is. 400 pounds okay so you know this angle as 30 degrees okay so the normal the normal force is equal to 400 times side 30 which what I had over here the area was the area the area of this plane is so you have this one down in terms of the the width of that so the width of that is let's see uh, I'll show you the figure up here so that you can easily see it so that width is it's this one so 1.5 times uh, the incline length again that uh, that length is equal to this one so you have uh, uh, let me just draw it let me pick this one okay so this one which is this part so you know that this angle is 30 degrees and you have the plane, uh, the 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 distance from here to here is one inch, okay. So this length is equal to one over side thirty, okay. So that gives me the area. And put this into calculator, you will get sixty six point sixty seven psi. That is the normal stress. Doing the same thing to get the shear stress. So shear force is four hundred times cosine 30 divided by the area in the area in this case we have the same area so we'll get a uh, 115.47 psi okay so that's it if you find the video is helpful feel free to give it a like share and subscribe to my channel in order to receive the most current videos don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss anything i'll see you next time